welcome to the wow embossing channel today i'm going to be doing some ombre heat embossing using a selection of metallic embossing powders so i've got the polished silver the polished gold and the metallic copper all super fine and i'm also going to be using the tufted 3d embossing folder from spellbinders and this big and bold christmas from scrapbook.com and today's card is going to be a really quick and simple one. I'm going to use this Joy to the World stamp. It's a really nice one for bulk making. So I'm going to use my sticky embossing ink to ink up this Joy to the World. And then stamp that on some ivory cardstock. And this is a really nice way to get a bit of a different look from your embossing powder. So I'm going to use the copper at the bottom then I'm going to add some gold and each time I'm just adding it at one end and then I'm letting it slide down in a line and then I'm going to add the silver at the top so then I'm going to melt that You can see it gives this really beautiful ombre effect. So I'm going to cut that down. So then I've used this embossing folder to emboss some of this gold foil. So again, another Spellbinders one. And I just used a piece that I'd already put a bit of adhesive sheet on the back. So I'll add a bit of glue to the rest, but that adhesive sheet should kind of help hold it in place while the glue dries. Then I'm going to use some fine tape to add this to the card. So then I'm going to take some adhesive pearls and I'm just going to add them to these kind of circular parts on the embossing folder to embellish it. So then we've got this really pretty card and I think that ombre heat embossing just really adds a nice level of detail to it without adding too much extra time so it's still a really quick and simple card to create. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all then YouTube will notify you when there's a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below and there's also a link there to the blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.